you want to learn how to make a custom Minecraft title, you know, change this bit up here up quite a lot, well today I'm going to teach you how you can turn this Minecraft into anything you want. It can be a picture of your own face, or it can be an adjusted logo you like, or literally anything else you can think of. In today's video, for example, I'm going to change the Minecraft title screen to the Minecraft logo with the wild update underneath it. And also, right before we get in, um, don't forget to check the description for other cool tutorials on how to do stuff like this. For example, to change this home screen. All the way up to something like this. But anyways, enough about that, let's get right in. So the first thing that you can do is go over to the description of this video and go ahead and download the sample pack which is going to make the making of this pack a lot easier. Um, then you should have downloaded this. Um, this folder, zip folder, right over here, and now it's a zip folder and not a regular folder, so we are going to want to extract it. You can do that by right-clicking on it and then clicking on Extract All. And now depending on the device you are using, you might not have this Extract All option here, and then what you need to do is go to the, to the description again and download 7-Zip, which is a program that will help you do this. Anyways, you can just extract them, just like so, and now you should have two folders, a title GUI and a title GUI.zip folder. Both of these over here, this is a regular folder, this one is not. The zip folder, you can just throw that away, as we don't need that anymore. And we can go ahead and look in title GUI. So in here, there's just going to be an identical folder, and now inside there, there's going to be two items. A textures item and a manifest item. And um, the textures item is what will allow you to change textures in game, and the manifest item is what is going to allow you to import this pack into Minecraft once you're finished. So, heading into textures and then into GUI, this is where we are going to want to put our title. Now, um, your title can be literally anything you want. It can be a picture of your own face, um, it, or it, it, it can literally be anything. Just keep in mind that it will replace this right over here. So, for the sake of this video, since Minecraft 1.19 came out a few days ago, I have selected this image, which looks the same as the other one, however, it is um, the Minecraft logo, but then with the wild update underneath it. And that's what I'm going to change um, the, mine, the regular Minecraft logo to. And if you want this image, then you can also download that from the description, since, you know, I thought that you guys might like this. And depending on the image you have, there are going to be a few things you want to change th to this. Not necessarily to the image itself, but to the name of the image. So, first off, um, you can ignore the regular name, but you need to focus on the file name extension. And the file name extension is this little part over here. In my case, this is .jpg. Um, if you don't see that, then what you need to do is come into View over here, go to Show, and make sure that file name extensions is ticked. Anyways, um, depending on the image you have, this might be .png, or .webp, or .something else. 
Anyways, what you're going to want to do is right click on this, rename it, and then delete the file name extension you have, and make sure that it is PNG. Now, if your file name extension was already PNG, you don't need to do anything. But it's very important that your file name extension is PNG. So if it isn't, then you need to make sure that you change it to that. Anyways, um, if you then click anywhere, the computer is going to tell you that if you change a file name extension, that the file might become unusable. But in this case, the file will still be usable and you can click on yes. As you can see, we can still open up this image right over here. Anyways, now that our file is a .png, there is another thing that we want to change to it. So once again, you want to right click on it and go over to rename. This time, however, we don't need to focus on the file name extension, but the actual name of this file. You want to change that to title. Only the word title. It is very important. Um, there should be no capitals whatsoever. Also, no space at the end like this or anything like that. And then the exact name should be title.png. If that's the name of this file, then you are ready to go. So, then once you have this, everything is all great. And you can go back to over here where you have the textures folder and the manifest folder. Because now we are going to want to edit the manifest folder. So what you can do is you can open this file up. Depending on what program you use to open this up, yours might look a little bit different. Anyways, I use Notepad++. Um, it works really well for things like this, um, and you can download it for free in the Microsoft Store. It's only like 8 megabytes, so you don't need to worry about it being big, and if you want to do stuff like this often, then that might be a good idea. Anyways, once again, in this, um, in this file right over here, there's a few things that we want to change. So, first off, you want to come over to the area that says description. Then, in between these two quotation marks, you can just, you know, write to the description of your pack. So, my description will be super cool pack, please subscribe. There we go. Your description can be anything that you want. You just need to make sure that it is exactly in between these two quotation marks over here and that you don't change anything else. Now you can do the same thing with the name. Um, you can name it anything you want, just make sure it's again in between the quotation marks. So it's 64 is epic title screen pack there we go that seems like a pretty good name to me um, both of these items will show up inside minecraft once you have imported the pack now there is one more thing that we need to change and that are th that is these two things over here so this and this these are both, as you can see over here, UUIDs. And UUIDs are universally unique identifiers. And by changing these, they will be completely unique. And you will be able to import your pack into Minecraft. And Minecraft will be able to recognize that it is a unique pack. And Minecraft will be able to import it. So you need to once again click on the link in the description, which will um, redirect you to online UUID generator. And once you are here, you should get a UUID like this showing up over here. What you need to do is you need to click on copy over here, and then you can replace the top UUID with that. There we go. Now make sure that you place that you replace the entire thing and that there isn't accidentally a leftover character. So 
Once you have replaced the top one, you can head over to the bottom one and do the exact same thing. So head over to online UUID generator. Then you can refresh the page and it should generate a new UUID for you. Then you can once again copy that and replace the already existing one. Anyways, now that we have replaced both of the UUIDs, you can click, do Ctrl S to save it, or head over File and save it from there. Anyways, once it's saved, you can just exit out of it like that. This we do not need. And that is your pack finished. Now we just need to import it into Minecraft. To do that, you can go to this folder over here and you should have the title GUI and inside there are your textures and manifest file and folder. Anyways, you can right click on that and then click on the option compress the zip file. Now, once again, you might need 7-zip for this depending on the device you are using. So, you can select compress the zip file and you should immediately get a zipped version of this. This pack, you can call anything you want. So, um, to, you know, keep it the same as the name I put in the manifest file, I will type, call mine E64's epic title pack, I think that's what I call it, doesn't matter so much. Anyways, there is another thing that we need to change to this as well. As you remember, this is going to be a bit of the same as we did with the image. So, you need to rename this. As I said, the title can be anything you want. But, this dot zip over here, that's the file name extension. And once again, we want to change that. So you can remove the dot .zip from the end, and you can replace that with dot .mcpack, that is dot .mcpack. Then you can just click on yes over here, and your file name extension has changed to dot .mcpack. Now, um, if you have Minecraft Bedrock installed in your current account, as I do over here, then you'll see that if you change the file name extension to the .mc pack, the little icon over here also changes to the Minecraft grass icon. And that means that as soon as you double click on this pack, Minecraft will automatically launch and your pack will get imported and then successfully imported, and then whatever your pack name was. Once your pack has successfully been imported, to enable it, you need to head over into settings over here. You can scroll down a little bit until you find global resources. You want to click on that, and then click on my packs. Then over here, you should find the pack you've just made. You can click on that, and then click on Activate. And once you have done that, you can click on the Active tab over here, and you'll see that this pack is active. Also, you can see over here, this is what I named the pack, so it's me 64s Epic Title Screen Pack, and this is the description. Super cool pack, please subscribe. So once your pack has been imported, you can head out of settings and the resource pack will be loaded. And then as you can see, this has now changed to Minecraft the wild update. Looking pretty snazzy, isn't it? Also, by the way, for the ones of you who want it, the pack I made in today's video is going to be downloadable through the description if you want to have that. Anyways, that was that. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll be notified when a new video comes out and you can learn how to do more cool stuff like this. Anyways, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.